Hey there, everyone, and welcome to the gathering. We're glad to be with you tonight, and um, hope you're doing well. Hope you're surviving the uh, the quarantine. And and uh, over the past several weeks during the gathering, we've been talking about how to respond to the crisis and and how we can live into that and in different ways. And tonight, I want to talk to you about how to live on purpose in a crisis. Living on purpose in a crisis. Because one of the things that I think is really, um, I don't know about you, but it, it definitely affects me, is not knowing what is to come. Not knowing how things are going to be, not knowing how, what the new normal is going to look like, not knowing what we're going to be able to do uh, when we're going to move from the red zone to the yellow zone to the green zone. <laughs> you know, it's really hard to make plans. It's really hard to look into the future or plan into the future when we just simply don't know what things are going to look like. And, and, when, we, and when we're uh, confronted with that question, it, it can really cause us to question our identity. It can cause us to question our purpose. Why are we here? What are we, uh, what are we here to do? And, and to, today I want to talk to you about what you can do on purpose, even when you don't know what the future holds. Even when you don't know what the future is about to bring, um, how can we live into our purpose and, and how can we live on purpose? And so uh, one of my mentors says it this way, uh, purpose, as far as living on purpose, is when I find myself overwhelmed, it's because I am under-purposed. When I feel under-purposed, then I feel overwhelmed. When I feel like I'm living on purpose, I'm living in my purpose, I'm living in my calling, I'm living into what God uh, wants me to do, I rarely feel overwhelmed. But when I'm not in that place, when I'm not living in my purpose, it's very easy to feel that sense of overwhelm. And, and in this environment that we're living in during this coronavirus pandemic, it's really easy to get caught up in uh, the unknown, to get caught up in all of the distractions and all of the things uh, that we can't do and, and not live into our purpose. So the question I guess I want to ask you tonight is, what can you do that can either live into or prepare you to live into your purpose as you move forward? In Psalm 57, verses 1 through 3, the, the, the Bible says this, Have mercy on me, my God. Have mercy on me, for in you I take refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the, the, until the d- disaster passed. Until the disaster has passed. I cry out to God, Most High, to God, who vindicates me. His, now he sends from heaven a, and saves me, rebuking those who hotly pursue me. God sends forth His love and His faithfulness. I, I love that part. <laughs> it's so relevant to us today uh, where he says that I take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. You see, we're all kind of just waiting for this disaster to pass. To, to, to be gone, to be over with. But in that, mo- in, in that time frame, what do we do? How do we respond? How do we act in this time frame? Well, the psalmist says that we take refuge in the shadow of the wings that God covers us with. That, that His love and His faithfulness will not fail us. And, and so as we live into that, purpose that he has for us. Um, I just want to talk to you about a couple of different categories that you can think through this on um, that will maybe help you through the day, help you prepare for tomorrow, help you prepare for what you were, we're moving into. One of, the, one of the things that I think we can really um, take advantage of this whole situation and do is use it as a reset button. We can use it as a, as a as a way to stop doing things that maybe we were in the habit of doing and, and step into some new habits, some new behaviors, some new ways of doing what 
what we know we're meant to do. And, and so the first one I want to talk to you about is, number one, spiritual purpose. What is your spiritual purpose? Are you living into your spiritual purpose? Because the truth is, you are a spiritual being having a physical experience right now in this physical world. But the Spirit is what you want to focus on. Jesus says, don't, don't uh, worry about someone who can take your physical life. You should be more concerned about the one who can, who can uh, control your spiritual life because your spiritual life is the one that lasts forever. And so as we live into our spiritual life, what is it that we, that we want to um, progress in in that purpose? Here, here's how I see it. I believe that the most powerful thing about the spiritual life is called awareness. Am I aware of the spiritual life that God has called me into? Am I aware of Him? Am I aware of His presence in my life? Am I aware, aware of His power in my life? Am I aware of the needs of others around me that I can connect with God and then connect with them uh, through connecting in ministry? I can minister to them if I am connected to God and aware of His viewpoint, of His wisdom, of His knowledge, uh, of, of His power flowing through me, then I can connect with that person uh, with, with that flowing in ministry. And I can minister to that person. I can make a difference. I can add value to that person because of the connectedness that God has given to me. And, and in, in my spiritual purpose... Um, and, and awareness, that's where I really get to uh, begin to live into the, the destiny that God has for me. Number two is in my relationship purpose. A am, I, am I intentionally connecting with people around me? Am I and I'm intentionally building those relationships so that I can strengthen the bonds that I have with others? In, in this time of isolation and quarantine and, and social distancing, it's really, really easy to disconnect from the people around you that you care about. And it's really easy to start to feel the weight of that, of that uh, isolation. And, and truthfully, it, it's an it's a, it's a opportune place for the enemy to come in and to wreak havoc in your life if you're not being intentional about connecting with the people around you, connecting with loved ones, connecting with people that matter to you, and, and stepping out, not getting caught, you know, spiraling down that rabbit hole. Because the thing about it is, when, when we start to get into that mode of isolation, of disconnection, of uh, seclusion, it's really easy for us to just kind of spiral down uh, in that and, and then not even feel like coming back out of it. But this is where we must be intentional in our purpose, that we have a relationship purpose in our lives to connect with other people and, and to add value, to make a difference, and, and, and to allow others to make a difference in our lives. So where are you in your relationship purpose? N number three, what about in your growth purpose, your personal growth purpose are you growing are you using this time we, we all have a little more time on our hands we, we have a little more downtime things are less busy so are you using this time to grow into who you want to be are, are you are you studying are you reading are you uh, listening to good things that are feeding your mind are you uh, spending time in God's word are you uh, you know however you learn best whatever it is that you use to grow growth is an intentional process growth doesn't just happen by accident it's always an uphill uh, trajectory because y you have to work at it and during this time are you living into your uh, your personal growth purpose because there's where you're going to come out of this thing better than you went into it if you're being intentional. Are you setting aside time to study and to grow and, and, to, and to plan out what it is that you want to learn and what you want to um, understand better because you have this extra time to be able to do it in? 
Number four, what about your health purpose? Are you taking care of your body? Are, are you watching what you're eating? Are, are you exercising and being intentional about that, about just moving your body and, and, and um, getting your blood flowing? Because even though we are a spiritual being having a physical experience, this physical body is still the vehicle that God has given us to ride around in this planet uh, in, and, and, he, and He expects us to take care of it. And the more that we take care of it, the more energy we have, the more clarity we have. We can, we can literally change the state of our minds if you're starting to feel that gloom and doom or, or uh, feeling down, feeling depressed. Get up and move. Get up and jump around. Get up and dance. Get up and do something to change that state because when your body changes, your mind changes. When you act, when you move into uh, a, a different way, uh, than you were, you will feel a different way. And, and that will change everything for you. And then number five, your contribution purpose. What are you contributing? How are you adding value? How are you being intentional? Uh, or even how are you preparing for when things do open back up, when things do kind of go back to whatever normal is going to look like, how are you going to be more prepared to contribute to the good of others, to make a difference in other people's lives, to make a difference at your work, at your job, to your family, whatever it might be, how are you going to be positioned because of what you're doing right now to be able to contribute to others and to make a difference? I, I want to go back to Psalm 57 j just to, to close this out because this is very important. Uh, the, the psalmist is, is praying to God and he says, Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me, for in you I take refuge. You see, are we taking refuge in God, in His presence, in His power, to help us in all of these categories? And, and you can certainly add categories uh, that, that matter to you that the Holy Spirit is pointing out to you. But he, he says, I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. Are we taking that refuge? Are we, are we leaning into God and saying, God, I want to live on purpose. I want, to, I want to grow in the purposes that you have given me in my life, spiritually, relationally, uh, personal growth in my health and in my contribution. I want to grow into what you have called me to, to do. Because the end of that psalm says this, it says, He sends from heaven and saves me, rebuking those who hotly pursue me. God sends forth His love and His faithfulness. God sends forth His love and His faithfulness. With His love and His faithfulness, we can live into this disaster. We can live into this crisis. We can live into whatever this world sends at us because we take refuge in Him. I hope that that encourages you. I hope it lifts you up and, and helps you to um, keep pressing on and pressing in to all that God has for you. I want to pray for you. Father, we just thank you for this time that we have together. We thank you that we can call on your name and that your love and your faithfulness is always there for us and always available in our time of need, in our time of crisis, and we can grow even because of it into what you have created us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Have a great rest of the week, everybody. We'll see you Sunday.